I'm Dr. Foley, uh, Care Animal Clinic, and uh, this is Harley, my dog. He's the uh, six-year-old golden retriever, and I was going to talk to you about a technique for treating pain relief uh, for dogs. Um, it's, it's, it really seems to work. Dogs are the are the ones that uh, this re that respond to this the, the best. Um, called prolotherapy. Okay, it's something. It stands for proliferation therapy, and what we're trying to do is in joints that are arthritic, in joints that have been damaged, uh, in joints that are, um, there, there's a laxity, like hip dysplasia, that's a loose joint, the ball of the, 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 ball of the uh, hip doesn't, uh, of the femur doesn't fit in the socket, it's loose and it slips around. So what prolotherapy does is it proliferates the tissues around the joint capsule makes it thicker and makes that attachment much more secure so that they do not feel the, the looseness, they don't, they don't feel the instability or the pain that's associated with it. It just stabilizes, it strengthens, it proliferates the tissue surrounding this. Uh, it's relatively <coughs> new, I guess. It's, uh, not, not many people have heard of it, but hopefully the word's getting out there uh, you know, to, to, to a greater degree. Um, a tip, this is a joint, and this happens to be a left leg, and it kind of lines up just like that. This is called a stifle joint, um, and uh, ACLs, which is a ruptured anterior cruciate ligament, in dogs it's called actually a CCL, cranial cruciate ligament, but that's a ligament that runs through this, and it, it runs through this joint and stabilizes this, this, the knee joint, the stifle joint. A lot of times dogs will rupture their ACLs, so that you get this laxity, this cranial movement, and it's very unsettling for the, for the pet because they know when they try to use that leg, it slips out on them and they can't depend on it, it hurts and, and so forth. So there's various ways to fix it. You can do an ACL surgery, we do ACL surgeries here also, where you just go in and stabilize that with a, um, a technique that attaches a, 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 long, a, a strong type of suture to stabilize this. We'll do it that way. Also, you can do it with prolotherapy because there's a joint capsule that surrounds this and if you go in and, and stimulate that joint capsule, it thickens it up and it makes it very sturdy again so that they aren't, it's not slipping around and the dogs have confidence on it again. What prolotherapy is, is it's a, it's a number of injections and it's a combination of uh, some uh, dextrose, some lidocaine, some saline, and you just go and infiltrate around the joint capsule and what happens is you cause an acute mild degree of inflammation in that joint capsule. Well inflammation draws cells into the area and it creates this just like a uh, it creates a thickening of it, and then when the inflammation subsides about three weeks later, the, the, the attachments around it are just a little bit thicker. Then you wait about a three weeks after, so s about six weeks after you do the first injection, it inflames it mildly for three weeks, then it subsides for weeks. Then you go in and stimulate it again, same thing, just kind of very thin needle. Uh, we, do, we use a little bit of sedation with the pets so they aren't feeling anything, and then we go in and stimulate it again. It causes some inflammation and subsides. After about three to four of these treatments you have a thicker amount of, of, of the capsule, the, the things that are holding that joint together have become stronger and have become thicker and uh, after fourth treatment, maybe up to the fifth treatment, the animals will be able to start feeling that that leg, that that joint, whether it's the hips or whether it's the stifle, is uh, st sturdier, is stronger and they can depend on it more and so then they have confidence in using it, it doesn't hurt as much and so that's a, a pro, that's prolotherapy. That's a, a, a kind of a newer way to address chronic pain management in our pets.